When I was vice president, I flew over a million miles on Air Force Two, but I traveled further than that Amtrak over the years. I remember one of the conductors when I was going home, Secret Service is wonderful, and they really are, but they'd rather you not tra travel Amtrak, because it's not Amtrak rail, because it has to stop so damn many times. And there's so many options for people to do things that you, they don't want to have done. So, but I was coming home to see my mom, and I just, uh, she was living with us at the time, my dad had passed away. <laughs> and uh, I got in a train on a Friday, and, um, and I won't get him in complete trouble. Let's tell his first name. He was number two in seniority at the time, Angelo. And Ange came up to me as I walked in. He said, Joey! And he grabbed my cheek. He said, Joey, baby! And he said, all this stuff. And because I did, that's published in the newspaper that I had traveled a million, 200,000 miles on Air Force planes as vice president. They published that on a regular basis. He said, big, I won't quote him exactly, but he said, big deal, Joey. And I said, what's it mean, Angie? He said, look, he said, we just had the retirement dinner up in Newark. He said, you know how many miles you traveled on Amtrak? And I said, no. He said, a million, I think it was 320,000 miles. And I said, how'd you figure that? He said, well, 118 days a year, almost 300 miles a day, 36 years, plus his wife, and he went on the whole deal. I said, I believe you, Hans. Let me get in the train, will you? <laughs> but the point is, Tommy and I particularly spent a lot of time on the train. So when I talk about how badly the Northeast Carter needs upgrades, you don't need to tell me. I've lived it. I also know how important this line is to computers and the Mark Rail between Maryland and Washington, the Metro North between New York and Connecticut, 